Chicago is home to many larger-than-life things, and cultural exhibits are no exception, many of which can be found right in a neighborhood park. The Chicago Park District partners with the Department of Cultural Affairs to help facilitate uh, new art, public art, and, and place it in areas where the public can see it and interact with. With this partnership, we are very excited to have Tony Tassett's Artist Monument here in South Grant Park. The monument, which is a tribute to 20th and 21st century artists, was unveiled in February. There's almost 400,000 names etched on this. It's 80 feet long, 8 feet tall, 8 feet wide, and the names are etched all the way around the piece. The piece features the names of high-profile artists, as well as emerging artists, with a single exhibition. I just wanted to sort of invite as many people to the party and sort of put them all on an equal level as much as possible. It's about people who call themselves artists and commit their lives to it in a lot of ways, but they may not get recognition in any other way. Right around the corner from Grant Park is the Field Museum, which recently welcomed a new exhibit. So our permanent exhibitions here at the Field Museum contain some amazing larger-than-life objects. In addition to these permanent exhibitions, we also have once-in-a-lifetime opportunities to see artifacts from ancient China in our Terracotta Warriors exhibition. The exhibition is highlighted by 10 terracotta figures, which are part of a larger collection of several thousand figures discovered in the 1970s. We see them today, and they're kind of that monochromatic terracotta clay look, but in fact, they were painted quite bright colors. And so we have two amazing replicas in the middle of the exhibition. The exhibit also features a variety of other ancient artifacts, including vessels, weaponry, and bronze chariots. The first emperor of China's tomb is one of the most amazing and important archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. And to be able to have 10 of these terracotta figures here in Chicago is an amazing opportunity for our visitors to see them up close. Further south of the museum district is the Hyde Park Art Center, which has been showcasing local artists since 1939. Our mission is to really support the contemporary arts in Chicago by supporting ambitious work from Chicago artists and connecting the local community to their work. The center's newest exhibition, Who Cares for the Sky, consumes the entire studio space that houses it. I think the first thing that's most impressive is the size and um, the kind of the shape and the audacity of the piece. The exhibit is based on a children's book by Gertrude Stein. Visitors will be able to explore the story's themes while climbing the mountain's peaks and crawling through its tunnels. Inside the tunnel is the work of about a hundred artists that I invited to send me work for this. And it's being embedded inside the tunnel, so it's kind of an experience like almost a catacombs of, of pe important people who create that mountain experience. So now that the weather is starting to warm up in Chicago, get out and check out these new cultural exhibits. They won't be around for long.